Hello, everybody. TJ Horse Girl here. Um, my last, um, well, my last, my first trucking reaction video got some decent views, so I think I'll do a second one. I uh, appreciate everybody checking out the video and um, watching it. Um, even a comment or two was left. I appreciate that. It's got some likes, so um, I appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel, so I appreciate you guys checking out what I'm doing. I'm new to this, and I appreciate the the views so here we go another chucking trucking video welcome back guys hope you'll enjoy today's truckers only video have a nice day have a nice day too hudson ohio yeah see yep Do not want to be smashed between two vehicles. Okay, this is an idiot pulling another big vehicle, cutting off another big vehicle. That's even dumber. Dude, you nearly lost your car. You nearly lost your car! Holy cow. Is that another trucker? Container hauler Karen. What are you doing? Truckers are dumb. What the heck? Mm. You'd think other truckers would know better, but no, they apparently they don't. Yield mean don't make me move. Yeah, take your time there, buddy. Take your time. Did you just tell that truck to move over? You've an easier time moving over. No. Oh, now you're going to wait. You go, you Why are you going to wait until the truck is almost on top of you to move over? God damn. Exactly. Trucks have to make wide turns, people. Harsh event detected. Trucks have to make wide turns. Just because they're way over to the one side does not mean that you can just cut beside them and get away with it. Why are we flashing high beams? What's going on? This guy had been following me for a long time. Dude, you need some more stickers on your car. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a car. Oh, look, what the? I understand passing me, but seems I don't get the hint to watch for an issue ahead. Warned both by a car coming the other direction and me actively activating my hazard lights and slowing down. If someone has their hazard lights on, just watch out around you and just get away from them. <laughs> that's gonna help. He <laughs> just closed his side mirror like that's gonna help. All right. <coughs> he literally could have parked three car lengths back and been much further out of the road, making it so traffic could clear. True. Really? Oh, you're at a light. Never mind. I thought he was gonna try to pull over and park right there, but he's at a light. <laughs> New York. Dude. Jeep tries to cause accident unsuccessfully. Uh-huh. Jeep gonna get flattened. What's gonna happen?
My response to all these trucker videos who show themselves as being impatient and uncourteous. Un good grief, that's a hard word. When you just ignore the bad drivers, they tend to go away, and sometimes you just get someone who appreciates our safe actions even when we don't expect it. True, just be defensive drivers. You know people are going to be stupid, so act like you're going to run into a stupid driver. I mean, at least that person got out of the way. Please don't bark. My dog wants to bark. Please don't bark. Whoa. What the heck happened there? Did you blow a tire? She hit a bump in the road. Why are we brake check? Why do you want to brake check a semi? Why? That's just asking for trouble. Why do you want to brake check a semi? I never understood this. These semis can flatten you. I actually saw two cars brake checking each other a couple of weeks ago while I was I had gone to pick up hay for my horse and um or feed for my horse, one of the two, and I was coming back from the feed store and saw two cars brake checking each other. It was pretty like wow. Like I'd not seen that in person before. <laughs> I wasn't involved, but um it was fun to watch. And then the car that started the brake checking eventually U turned it on the road and went back the other direction. I guess they were looking for more people to brake check. Dude, he can crush you. Multiple brake checks, throwing objects at trucks, attempt to run truck off-road, ends up crashing into side of trailer, another attempt to harass driver. Denali driver was ticketed and responsible for our damage caused. Exactly. Like, I hope you're happy, dude. Did that get you what you wanted? No. Got you some damage. And having to pay for damage. Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Six minutes later, same guy, runs through small gap between car and rig to get to driver's side. Stuck side of trailer at midpoint. Struck side of trailer at midpoint. Good lord, I can read. Dummy. Firefighter brake checks a semi has sticker on the glass. Okay, Big Rig has his hazards on. Or had his hazards on, so there'd be a reason for that. Here comes an idiot! Mm. Yep, saw that coming. Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Yep, there's another idiot. Drive it in the shoulder. Okay, we've got to oh, I'm gonna do a brake check. Nope. Just attempt to cut the guy off. Okay. Okay, dude, you've got a trailer. Hurry up. You're supposed to be stopping anyway, so, I mean, what is your problem? There are idiot truck drivers, too, I'm telling you. I'm just saying, driving in the shoulder is not good for your tires, because that's where all the crap that gets on the road, falls out of vehicles or whatever, winds up. Because the roads are designed to be slightly slanted so that all the water runs off to the sides instead of staying on the roads. So anything that falls on the road that's light enough is going to be washed over here or blown over here. And then you're going to drive over that? Just saying. Not good for your tires. You don't know what you're going to pick up. Another idiot trucker. 
Now you break the check. We now you're... I'm telling you, idiot truckers out there too. My goodness. Well, folks, that's all we. Oh man! All right, people, stay safe out there and take care.